A shadow falls across the comfortable familiarity of suburban life. Rising rent prices cast a long shadow, stalking families who once felt secure. The American dream now feels like a distant echo, a crushing burden on the middle class. Teachers, nurses, firefighters, the backbone of our communities, now struggle to keep up. The rising tide of rent is engulfing families, forcing impossible choices. The once bright promise of a stable future is now clouded by eviction. This silent crisis is reshaping American life. The middle class, once the bedrock of American society, is now caught in a vice. Squeezed between stagnant wages and skyrocketing housing costs, families are finding it increasingly difficult to maintain their foothold on the economic ladder. The promise of upward mobility is fading as families struggle just to stay in place. The very definition of middle class is being redefined, with many now teetering on the precipice of financial instability. For generations, the middle class has aspired to a life of comfort and security, a home in a safe neighborhood, good schools for their children, and the ability to save for the future. These aspirations, once within reach, now seem increasingly unattainable. The rising cost of rent is eating away at the middle-class dream, leaving families with less disposable income and diminishing their ability to build a secure future. The promise of a better life for their children is now overshadowed by the fear that they will be worse off than their parents. The squeeze is felt most acutely by those who are just starting out, young families trying to establish themselves and build a future. The dream of home ownership, once a rite of passage into adulthood, now feels like a distant fantasy for many. Saddled with student loan debt and facing ever-increasing rent prices, they are delaying major life decisions like marriage, having children, and investing in their future. The crushing weight of rent is forcing them to put their dreams on hold, indefinitely. The very fabric of community is being threatened. As rent prices escalate, families are forced to relocate to more affordable areas, often far from their support networks and familiar surroundings. This displacement disrupts established communities, weakens social ties, and creates a sense of rootlessness and insecurity. The rising cost of rent is not just an economic issue. It's a social crisis that's tearing at the heart of our communities. The sense of belonging, the shared experiences that define a neighborhood, are being eroded by the relentless pressure of rising housing costs. The stories are heartbreaking. Families forced to choose between paying rent and putting food on the table. Parents working multiple jobs, sacrificing time with their children just to keep a roof over their heads. The stress and anxiety are taking a toll, impacting physical and mental health, and straining relationships. The silent crisis of rising rent is leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The faces of those struggling are etched with worry, their voices filled with a quiet desperation. This isn't a problem confined to a few struggling neighborhoods. It's a pervasive issue affecting communities across the country, from bustling cities to quiet suburbs. The rising cost of rent is a national emergency, a silent epidemic that's eroding the middle class and threatening the very foundation of our society. The stories are not just anecdotes. They represent a systemic failure to address a fundamental human need, affordable housing. The consequences of inaction are dire. As families are pushed to the brink, the risk of homelessness increases. Children are forced to move from school to school disrupting their education and impacting their future prospects. The cycle of poverty is perpetuated, and the very fabric of our communities is frayed. The rising cost of rent is not just a housing issue. It's a crisis that affects every aspect of our lives. The haunting reality is that this crisis is not inevitable. It is a consequence of policy choices, a reflection of our priorities as a society. We have the resources and the capacity to address this challenge, to ensure that every family has access to safe and affordable housing. The question is not whether we can afford to act, but whether we can afford not to. Meet the Millers. Sarah, a dedicated teacher, and David, a skilled carpenter, are the proud parents of Lily and Ethan. They live in a modest, two-story house in a quiet suburban neighborhood, where children ride bikes and neighbors exchange friendly waves. The aroma of freshly cut grass fills the air on summer evenings. Their life is woven with simple joys of family and community. Their home is a sanctuary filled with laughter and love. They cherish moments like family vacations at the beach. Dinner time is a sacred ritual, sharing stories and laughter. They are building a life together, creating stability for their children. They believe in hard work and a brighter future. 
They are the Millers. The first sign of trouble came in the form of a letter, a seemingly innocuous piece of mail that would soon cast a long shadow over their lives. It was a notice from their landlord, informing them of an impending rent increase, a significant increase that threatened to unravel the carefully woven fabric of their financial stability. The words on the page seemed to blur, the numbers swimming before Sarah's eyes. Oh. A knot of anxiety tightened in her chest, a cold dread creeping into her heart. David, ever the pragmatist, tried to reassure her. They would find a way, they always did. They would cut back on expenses, work extra hours, whatever it took. But even as he spoke the words, a flicker of doubt crossed his face. He knew that this was different, that the rising tide of rent was a force that could sweep away everything they had worked so hard to build. The comfortable predictability of their lives was beginning to crumble, replaced by a growing sense of unease. The initial shock gave way to a frantic scramble to adjust their budget. Date nights were replaced by quiet evenings at home, family vacations became a distant memory, and the small luxuries they once enjoyed became casualties of the rising cost of rent. Every penny was scrutinized, every expense weighed against the looming threat of falling behind. The weight of their financial burden began to press down on them, a constant reminder of their precarious situation. The conversations around the dinner table shifted. The carefree laughter was replaced by hushed discussions about finances, the children sensing their parents' growing anxiety. Lily and Ethan, though young, understood that something was wrong. The carefree innocence of childhood was slowly being eroded by the harsh realities of their parents' financial struggles. The cracks in the foundation of their family life were beginning to widen, threatening to destabilize the very core of their existence. Sleep became a luxury Sarah and David could no longer afford. Long after the children were asleep, they would lie awake, staring at the ceiling, their minds racing with worry. The numbers played over and over in their heads, a relentless loop of rent increases, dwindling savings, and mounting bills. The silent hours of the night were filled with whispered conversations, desperate attempts to find a solution to their growing financial crisis. The weight of their responsibilities pressed down on them, threatening to suffocate them. The strain began to show. Sarah's cheerful disposition was replaced by a quiet weariness, her smile fading like a watercolor left in the sun. David, usually a pillar of strength, found himself snapping at the children, his patience worn thin by the constant pressure. The rising cost of rent was not just impacting their finances, it was eroding their emotional well-being, straining their relationship, and casting a long shadow over their family life. The once vibrant colors of their lives were beginning to fade, replaced by muted shades of gray. The whispers of worry began to escalate into full-blown arguments, fueled by fear, frustration, and a growing sense of helplessness. The once harmonious rhythm of their family life was disrupted by the discord of their financial struggles. The rising cost of rent was driving a wedge between them, threatening to tear apart the very fabric of their family. The sanctuary of their home was now a battleground, the walls echoing with the sounds of their escalating anxieties. The children, caught in the crossfire, retreated into themselves. Lily's bright eyes lost their sparkle, her laughter replaced by a quiet apprehension. Ethan, once a boisterous and energetic child, became withdrawn and clingy, seeking solace in the familiar comfort of his mother's arms. The rising cost of rent was not just impacting Sarah and David, it was casting a long shadow over their children's lives, stealing their innocence and replacing it with the heavy burden of adult anxieties. The Millers, once financially stable, found themselves sinking deeper into debt. Every month, the gap between their income and their expenses grew wider. Credit card bills piled up, a stark reminder of their mounting financial woes. The weight of their debt pressed down on them, stealing their sleep and filling their days with anxiety. The once clear path to a secure future was now obscured by uncertainty and fear. The rising cost of rent forced the Millers to make sacrifices that chipped away at the quality of their lives. Sarah took on a second job, working late into the night, sacrificing precious time with her children. David started picking up extra shifts on weekends, his body aching from the long hours and physical labor. They were exhausted, both physically and emotionally, but they pressed on, driven by their unwavering commitment to their children. Lily's birthday party, once a joyous celebration, was a quiet affair, 
with homemade cake and a few inexpensive gifts. Ethan's dreams of joining the local soccer team were dashed when they could no longer afford the registration fees and equipment. Family movie nights were replaced by quiet evenings at home, the television screen dark to save on electricity. Weekend trips to the park were replaced by walks around the neighborhood, their steps heavy with the weight of their worries. The rising cost of rent had stolen more than just their financial security. It had robbed them of the simple pleasures that made life worth living. The sacrifices they made were not just financial, they were emotional. The constant stress and anxiety took a toll on their mental and physical health. The rising cost of rent was not just impacting their finances. It was eroding their spirits, stealing their joy, and casting a long shadow over their future. The joy that once permeated their lives began to fade, replaced by a pervasive sense of anxiety and fear. The laughter that once echoed through their home was silenced, replaced by hushed whispers and strained silences. The rising cost of rent had cast a long shadow over their lives, stealing their happiness and replacing it with a constant stide of unease. The children, sensing their parents' distress, became withdrawn and quiet. Lily, once a bubbly and outgoing child, retreated into herself, her bright eyes losing their sparkle. Ethan, once full of energy and mischief, became clingy and anxious, seeking solace in the familiar comfort of his mother's arms. Family dinners, once a time for connection and laughter, became a silent ritual, punctuated by the clinking of forks and the weight of unspoken anxieties. Weekend outings, once a source of excitement and adventure, were now tinged with a sense of guilt and worry. The rising cost of rent had not just impacted their finances, it had stolen the joy from their lives, leaving them feeling empty and hollow. The future, once a canvas of endless possibilities, was now painted in shades of uncertainty and fear. The constant fear of eviction hung over them like a dark cloud, a constant reminder of their precarious situation. Every late night knock on the door sent a jolt of fear through their hearts. Every phone call from an unknown number filled them with dread. The threat of losing their home, the only place they had ever known as family, loomed large in their minds, a constant source of anxiety and stress. The notices from their landlord became more frequent, more insistent. The polite requests for payment escalated into stern warnings, the threat of legal action hanging heavy in the air. The Millers knew that time was running out, that they were on the brink of losing everything. The fear of being homeless, of being cast out into the streets, was a terrifying prospect. The shame and humiliation of facing eviction weighed heavily on them. They had always prided themselves on their self-sufficiency, their ability to provide for their family. The rising cost of rent had forced them to make an impossible choice, to abandon their home and seek a new life elsewhere. The weight of their situation pressed down on Sarah and David, a suffocating burden that stole their sleep and filled their days with a gnawing anxiety. They knew they had to make a decision, a decision that would change their lives forever. Staying in their suburban home was no longer an option. The rising rent had become an insurmountable obstacle, a wall they could no longer climb. The thought of leaving their home, the place where they had built their lives and raised their children, filled them with a deep sense of loss and sadness. The conversations were long and difficult, filled with tears, frustration, and a growing sense of despair. The rising cost of rent had forced them to confront a painful truth. They were no longer able to provide for their family in the way they had always envisioned. The foundation of their lives was crumbling, leaving them feeling vulnerable and exposed. The thought of uprooting their family, of leaving behind the familiar comfort of their community, filled them with trepidation. Their children, Lily and Ethan, had grown up in this neighborhood, their loaves intertwined with the fabric of their community. The decision was made with heavy hearts, a bittersweet mixture of sadness and resignation. They would leave their suburban home, their sanctuary, and embark on a new chapter in their lives. Packing up their belongings was an emotional journey, a walk down memory lane filled with laughter, tears, and a bittersweet nostalgia. Each item they packed held a story, a memory of a life they were leaving behind. The children's artwork, family photos, and small trinkets each one a reminder of the happy times they had shared in their suburban home. Sarah carefully folded Lily's favorite blanket, a symbol of their bond. David carefully wrapped Ethan's baseball glove, a symbol of their shared passion. As they packed, the children flitted around them, 
their small hands reaching out to touch familiar objects, their young voices filled with questions. Where are we going, Mommy? Lily asked, her voice tinged with anxiety. Will we have a backyard at our new house? Ethan chimed in, his eyes wide with worry. Sarah and David did their best to reassure them, to paint a picture of a bright and hopeful future. They knew that the road ahead would be difficult, but they were determined to face it together, as a family. The day of the move arrived, a day filled with a mix of emotions, sadness, anxiety, and a flicker of hope for a fresh start. As the moving truck pulled away from their suburban home, Sarah and David stood on the sidewalk, watching as their past life disappeared down the street. The children huddled close to them, their small hands gripping their parents tightly, their young faces etched with a mixture of confusion and apprehension. The familiar comfort of their suburban neighborhood was fading into the distance, replaced by the vast unknown of the open road. The journey was long and tiring, the miles stretching out before them like an endless ribbon of asphalt. The children, restless and bored, fidgeted in their seats, their questions a constant reminder of their uncertainty. Are we there yet? They asked repeatedly, their voices echoing the weariness of the journey. Sarah and David tried to keep their spirits up, pointing out interesting sights along the way, telling stories and playing games to distract them from the monotony of the drive. But their own hearts were heavy with the weight of their decision, the uncertainty of their future. As they drove further away from the city, the landscape began to change. The towering skyscrapers and bustling streets gave way to rolling hills, open fields, and dense forests. The air grew fresher, cleaner, carrying the scent of pine needles and damp earth. The small rental house they had found was modest, but it was clean and functional. It didn't have the same charm as their suburban home, but it had a certain rustic appeal. As they unpacked their belongings, a sense of cautious optimism began to take root. Perhaps this new place, this quiet rural town, would offer them the fresh start they so desperately needed. The children, initially apprehensive, began to explore their new surroundings. Lily discovered a small stream running through the woods behind their house. Ethan found a rusty old swing set in the backyard. As they played, their laughter echoed through the trees, a welcome sound that filled the air with a sense of joy and renewal. For the first time in a long time, a glimmer of hope flickered in their eyes. The road ahead was uncertain, but they were ready to face it together, with courage, resilience, and a glimmer of hope. The initial shock of their displacement slowly began to fade, replaced by a quiet determination to make the best of their new situation. As Sarah watched her children playing, an idea began to take root in her mind. She envisioned a garden, a vibrant patch of green providing sustenance and purpose. The garden was a symbol of their resilience and ability to thrive. David, initially skeptical, was won over by Sarah's enthusiasm. He enjoyed working with his hands, nurturing something from seed to fruition. The garden became a family project, a way to reconnect and rebuild. Uh, raised beds from reclaimed wood symbolized their resourcefulness. The garden was a testament to their commitment to sustainability. Lily and Ethan were captivated by the idea. They envisioned rows of colorful vegetables and sweet berries. The garden was a source of fresh produce and wonder. It was a place to connect with nature and learn valuable lessons. Excitement filled the air as their shared vision took shape. They transformed their small backyard into a vibrant oasis. The garden was a symbol of hope and a new beginning. The rising cost of rent had given them an unexpected gift, the opportunity to create something meaningful together. News of the Miller's Garden Project spread quickly through their small rural community. Neighbors stopped by to offer advice, tools, and seedlings. The act of sharing was deeply ingrained in rural life. The Millers were welcomed with open arms. The garden became a catalyst for connection. They learned from seasoned gardeners. The garden became a classroom. Lily and Ethan made friends through the garden. The garden became a playground. They celebrated the fruits of their labor. Neighbors gathered to work and share stories. The garden became a hub of activity. The Millers discovered the true meaning of community. As summer turned to autumn, the Miller's garden yielded a bountiful harvest. Rows of vibrant vegetables, plump tomatoes, and sweet berries burst forth from the earth, a testament to their hard work and dedication. The children, Lily and Ethan, squealed with delight as they harvested the fruits of their labor, their small hands overflowing with the bounty of the garden. The garden had become more than just a source of food. 
It was a source of pride, a tangible symbol of their resilience and their ability to create something beautiful and productive from the most humble of beginnings. The kitchen table, once a source of anxiety and stress, was now laden with fresh, healthy meals prepared from the abundance of their garden. The aroma of roasted vegetables, homemade soups, and freshly baked pies filled the air, replacing the stale scent of processed foods with the comforting smells of home-cooked goodness. The garden had not just provided sustenance for their bodies. It had nourished their souls, restoring their sense of well-being and fostering a renewed appreciation for the simple pleasures of life. The surplus produce from their garden was shared with their neighbors, a gesture of gratitude and a celebration of their shared abundance. The act of giving, of sharing the fruits of their labor, strengthened the bonds of community, fostering a spirit of generosity and mutual support. The garden had become more than just a source of food. It was a source of connection, a symbol of their interconnectedness, a reminder that they were all in this together. The Millers had not just grown a garden, they had cultivated a sense of community, a spirit of resilience, and a renewed appreciation for the simple gifts of nature. The raising cost of rent had forced them to leave behind their suburban life, but it had also led them to a place where they discovered the true meaning of abundance, the power of human connection, and the transformative potential of a shared purpose. The Miller's Garden inspired their rural community. Neighbors began planting their own gardens, transforming barren land into green spaces. This initiative fostered a renewed sense of community and self-reliance. The garden became a catalyst for change, symbolizing the power of individual action. The town came alive with activity. Neighbors shared tips, exchanged seeds, and celebrated their harvest. Streets filled with children playing and families working together. The laughter of families and the hum of bees filled the air. The garden transformed the town's landscape and spirit. It fostered hope and renewal. The Millers became integral community members, their story a testament to resilience and the power of adversity. They found a new purpose and appreciation for life. The rising cost of rent led them to discover true community. They found strength, resilience, and connection. Their garden became a beacon of hope, reminding that new beginnings can flourish. The Millers' story is not an isolated incident. It is a reflection of a larger national crisis. Families are struggling to keep a roof over their heads. The relentless rise of rent threatens their future. This crisis impacts the middle class, the backbone of our communities. The American dream is slipping out of reach. A lack of affordable housing is a deeper systemic issue. Decades of underinvestment and rising costs have created a perfect storm. Millions are vulnerable to housing instability. The consequences impact the fabric of our communities. The time for action is now. We must create a more just and equitable housing system for all. The human cost of housing instability is often hidden, obscured by statistics and economic data. But behind the numbers are real people, real families, struggling to make ends meet, their lives disrupted by the constant fear of eviction and displacement. The stress and anxiety of not knowing where you will sleep each night, of not being able to provide a stable home for your children, takes a heavy toll, eroding physical and mental health and straining family relationships. The human cost of this crisis is immeasurable, leaving a trail of broken dreams and shattered lives in its wake. The faces of housing instability are diverse, single mothers working multiple jobs to make ends meet, seniors on fixed income struggling to pay their rent, veterans returning from war with limited resources and support. They are our neighbors, our friends, our family members, their lives disrupted by forces beyond their control. Their stories are a testament to the human cost of this crisis, a stark reminder that behind the statistics are real people, are real families, struggling to survive. The consequences of housing instability are far-reaching. Children forced to move from school to school experience educational disruptions, impacting their academic performance and future prospects. Families uprooted from their communities lose their support networks, their sense of belonging, and their access to essential services. The rising cost of rent is not just a housing issue, it's a social crisis that's tearing at the heart of our communities. The stories of families struggling with housing instability are heartbreaking. Parents forced to choose between paying rent and putting food on the table, children going to school hungry, their minds preoccupied with worry and uncertainty, families living in overcrowded and substandard housing, their health compromised by mold, 
pests, and lack of access to basic amenities. These are not just anecdotes. They are the lived experiences of millions of families across the country, a stark reminder of the human cost of this crisis. The crisis of affordable housing is not insurmountable. It is a problem we can solve if we have the political will and the moral courage to act. We need policies that prioritize people over profit, policies that invest in affordable housing, expand access to rental assistance, and address the root causes of income inequality. The time for action is now to build a more just and equitable housing system for all. We need to shift our narrative around housing, from a commodity to be traded and profited from, to a fundamental human right. Everyone deserves access to safe, stable, and affordable housing, regardless of their income or background. This is not just a matter of social justice. It's a matter of economic necessity. When families have a stable place to call home, they are more likely to be healthy, productive members of society. We can learn from the Millers' story, from their resilience, their resourcefulness, and their commitment to community. Their garden, a small patch of green in a quiet rural town, is a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can create positive change. Their story inspires us to act, to build a more just and equitable future for all. The seeds of change are being planted across the country. Community organizations, housing advocates, and policymakers are working together to address the crisis of affordable housing, to create solutions that are innovative, sustainable, and equitable. The road ahead may be long and challenging, but we must not give up hope. We must continue to fight for a future where everyone has a safe, stable, and affordable place to call home. The Miller's journey reveals the remarkable resilience of the human spirit. Forced to leave their suburban life, they embarked on a journey into the unknown. They adapted, innovated, and created a new life in a rural town. Their story is a testament to hope and finding light in dark times. Their resilience illuminates the path for others facing challenges. Their relocation became an opportunity for growth and transformation. They discovered the power of community and human connection. The garden became a symbol of their resilience and resourcefulness. It represented their ability to overcome adversity and create beauty. Adversity can be a catalyst for positive change and deeper appreciation. The Millers discovered the true meaning of community and human connection. Their experience underscores the transformative potential of hardship. The Miller's journey reminds us we can overcome challenges and create a brighter future. Their story is a testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit. It serves as an inspiration, reminding us to persevere and innovate. The Miller's story serves as a stark reminder of the urgent need for systemic change. The rising cost of rent is a national crisis that demands collective action. We must address the root causes of housing instability and create a more just and equitable housing system. Policies must prioritize people over profit and invest in affordable housing. Housing is a fundamental human right. Advocate for policies that protect renters' rights and promote fair housing practices. We can all play a role in creating a more just and equitable housing system. The Miller story is a call to action for a better future for 